Hi, I'm Keith with Fireside Industries, fire safety advisor for the company. A little bit about myself. I have over 23 years of experience in the fire service. I have experience in fire prevention and in fire investigations. I want to talk a little bit about how the Camp Fire Defender came about. We at Fireside Industries, from our camping experiences, know that dealing with a fire at the end of the night can be challenging. There's three traditional ways that we generally extinguish a fire. One, putting water on it to reduce the heat. Two, putting dirt on it to try smothering the fire. And three, doing nothing at all, hoping that the fire goes out. And we know that that's being an irresponsible camper. In 2015, there were over 58,000 wildfires that were caused by human behavior. We know that campfires were a major contributor to that number. Now, let's talk a little bit about the product itself and the fire science behind it. Okay, well, as you can see, we've had to cover the fire because we're up here in Maine on the lake and we've had some rain move in, uh, which gives us an opportunity to actually talk a little bit about the fire science and fire behavior behind the product. First, real basic, fire needs three things. It needs fuel, and in our case, campfire wood. It needs oxygen, and it needs heat, otherwise known as the fire triangle. Without any one of those three, you cannot have fire, which is what we discussed earlier on the traditional ways of dealing with your campfire at the end of the night. You either use water to eliminate the heat, or you use dirt or sand to eliminate the oxygen. What we've decided to do is we are creating a new way of dealing with your campfire at the end of the night. We're not going to eliminate any of them. We decided to control two of the things in the fire triangle. We're going to control the heat. As you can see, when we have this covered, it controls the heat, not allowing any embers to leave, especially when it's safely secured. And we're going to control, not eliminate, we're going to control the oxygen. As you can see with our vent right there, we can adjust that. So rather than eliminating any of them, we're going to control two of them. And this is just a way of dealing with this in a safe, efficient, convenient way to make your camping experience much better. Okay, now that we've shown you a convenient way of dealing with your fire at the end of the night, or in a little drizzle such as this, Let's talk about a typical camping experience timeline. We at Fireside Industries want to see you start your fire at the beginning of your camping experience and extinguish it at the end, but let the campfire defender take care of the convenience in the middle. Now it's time to deal with the fire. You can use the campfire defender properly staking down all around or you can use one of the two traditional ways that we discussed earlier. An important note, every gallon of water poured onto the campfire creates 1,700 gallons of steam. Okay, obviously I have a little bit of work here to finish extinguishing this campfire. We at Fireside Industries appreciate your time letting us show you this new innovative convenient product. Whether you use the Campfire Defender or not, when your camping trip is coming to an end and you're ready to go home, please, from a fire guy, please extinguish your fire.